Next up, I'd like to bring out Patrick Dean. You may have gotten a chance to see Patrick out in the lobby. Uh, Patrick, come on out. This is, a, uh, this is a classier event if we have a real live author here uh, to speak with us. So Patrick, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, I really appreciate it. Thanks for your, your work. So Patrick has been coming to this festival for years as somebody involved with the Mountain Goat Trail, which is a fantastic trail. I went running out there this past summer. Uh, great place uh, for the work there. But today he's here signing books uh, to talk about the, the two books now. Uh, last time he was with us, he'd had one book out, which you'll see a trailer for that in just a minute. But tell us about your latest book. So the new book is called Nature's Messenger. It came out this spring. In 1722, an explorer, naturalist, and uh, artist named Mark Catesby landed in Charleston, South Carolina, and he spent several years roaming around the Carolina colony and the Bahamas, went back to England and produced the very first illustrated guide to North American plants and animals. This is a century before Audubon. So it's a great book for anybody who's into natural history, plants, birds, life, anything. Uh, great book, and uh, I'm really happy for it, and I'd love to show it to you upstairs after this. Yeah, fantastic. Patrick will be out there signing books. Your first book we're going to hear about in just a minute, but tell us just a little bit about um, the first book as well. It's a story of a priest, missionary, um, and explorer named Hudson Stuck, who graduated from the University of the South in Swanee in 1892. Got any Swanee people out here? I heard a few. YSR. Yeah. <laughs> Class of 06. M.A., by the way. Small but um, mighty contingent here, yeah. <laughs> um, where were we? Oh. The book. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, I gave him about four or five minutes warning before bringing him up here, so. Um, a great another great story that I was really privileged to be able to tell. Not only was he uh, a part of the first party to ascend Denali, Mount McKinley, in 1913, but he was a passionate advocate for the rights of Alaska Natives in Alaska during this really horrific time during the gold rush and all that. So it was a really important story and I'm really glad I got the chan chance to tell it. I've enjoyed reading that one. Uh, I've got one at home and uh, you can get your very own out there. Patrick will be signing them and selling them. Let's go ahead, uh, big round of applause for Patrick and then just let's roll the, the clip. <laughs> 